podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe from StartupRate.io here again for you in the awesome Innovation Center. I do have another CEO of a startup in the Accelerator program here with me and I may now introduce you to Peter. Hello. Thank Glad you for having here. me here. Yeah, yeah great. Great you can make it because you're originally from New York, right? That's right. Yeah. And how did you come here? Well, that's a very long story. Uh, uh, lots of jumps. G give us the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> the highlights. Well, I came to Switzerland in Europe for my postdoc. So mm -hmm. that was some time ago. I was a professor in England for a little while. And then I came back to Switzerland because of the, the innovation environment there and started a company a few years ago, Chem Alive. So that's, that's how I got to Europe and Darm Darmstadt here at the Innovation Center. Uh, well, obviously, they do great chemistry here and we're a chemistry startup. So. Yeah, I, I, I've heard that they are pretty good in chemistry. Yeah, yeah. pretty good, pretty yeah. good here. Um, and uh, Switzerland is not too far away from here, right? No, it's, nope. a, it's an easy train ride, I would say. Yes, you, you can use the train, so it's not too bad, right? <laughs> no, I used to actually do the commute from London to Lausanne every Monday. So okay. coming here from, to, from, from Lausanne to Darmstadt is easy peasy. I assume the, the flight itself isn't too hard, but to get to the airport through security and then... You get used to it. You get used to it, exactly. And um, you have been doing chemistry all your life, you've told me. And you've done a postdoc, you've been professor. Yeah. Um, first, I would like to know what made you leave academia. Right. Good question. Well, uh, life is complicated and I have Indeed a family is, yeah. and it's mostly personal reasons, but also there are aspects of the technology I was doing as a professor, which, which really needed to be explored further. So when I came to it and I had a choice, I had somewhere to go with, with what I was doing in chemistry and that was to start a company in chemistry. So I've really continued a lot of the things I was already doing, but in a commercial setting. So. That is pretty interesting. That gets us to Chem Alive, yep. like Chemistry Alive, yes. but just abbreviated Chem Alive. Mm -hmm. And you are the CEO of, yes. and founder of this company. And you try to explain to me what they are actually doing, but it's better, I assume, if you explain it first. Sure, yes. Uh, we, we are democratizing the use of very state-of-the-art and accurate calculations to make predictions about the properties of molecules and the changes that molecules undergo, otherwise known as reactions. So if you can predict what a molecule will do or how it will behave before you have to make it, you can save a lot of time and you can reduce your environmental impact and uh, save money uh, by, by not having to, to do the actual work and predicting that it won't work or predicting that this, this is a better target to go after because it will work better. So that's what we're trying to do, make a seamless integration of calculations in the workflow of doing experimental chemistry mm -hmm. so that uh, chemistry is more efficient. I see. And basically what your program also does is taking away the need to do physical experimentation because you can just like draw the molecule yeah. in, in your software. Yeah. So, yes, you, you can make predictions that, that should guide you. It'll never okay. replace doing the experiment, it will give you an ability to sort and, uh, and manage the things you need to do. So given 10 options, you can choose to do the, the three most likely to succeed first. So basically, you help the people who were intending to do physical experimentation, like doing really mixing stuff yeah, and pouring, all this. Like, like a wizard, pouring yes, things and, into and bottles. Yeah. You enable them to focus on the most promising ones. That is the idea, yes. Ah, now I get it. Okay. <laughs> and basically, what is behind all of that? Basically, first you, you draw a molecule yeah. and then you get something out of it. But what happens on your side well, of all I, of that? I think, I think everyone knows about Newtonian physics. I think we all learned this in school. So if you fire a cannonball, yep. you can calculate how far the ball will go, its trajectory, the arc, how hard it'll hit the wall. Yep. Um, that's classical physics. Now yep. there's It all started with an apple, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. But when you go down to the really small... That physics doesn't work anymore because it becomes statistical. So 
you need a quantum physics to just describe how very small things behave. There's an equivalent set of equations to Newtonian equations mm-hmm. that you can apply to small molecules and small yep. things uh, called the, well, the Schrodinger equation is what it's called. And it does the same thing. It predicts how a molecule will change and its behavior and so on. And those are the, the set of, that's the set of math that we use to make these predictions. Um, this has been around uh, for 80 or 90 years. Okay, it's a very mm-hmm. old technology. But it's very difficult to implement. It takes very powerful computers. Okay. And so. th- that is what you are doing in the background. Mm. But basically, everybody who is out there who is now interested in you, they can basically go to camalive.com and yes. get their molecule in there and get predictions yes. for it. Yes, you can go to our demo. We currently do um, uh, molecular shape prediction. So how, what is the shape of a molecule? This is mm-hmm. uh, something we've we've um, fully democratized on our demo. It's demo.chemalive.com. Mm-hmm. And you can draw a molecule um, if you know how to draw a molecule. So presumably just for chemists, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the the rest of the so, world yeah. can ignore this part. But uh, if you can draw a molecule, you can do it in our interface. And it will return a, a, a graph with some um, interactive features that yep. will allow you to navigate the various shapes uh, that the molecule can adapt, adopt to. So Okay. And um, what do you get right now here out of this uh, program? Right. So being here in the Innovation Center is um, really great for us because we get an inside view of how a big chemical company operates. Yep. Because for us, especially coming from academia, this is this is kind of uh, something that we don't know very well. Um, it's... You know, the politics, uh, the way uh, ideas move in between mm-hmm. the divisions within the company, uh, the time scale that things take to get done. The, all of these things are key, key metrics for us so that we can learn about them and then also build a proper approach and strategy to selling our technology to the bigger, the bigger players in chemistry. And that leads us, so there's also a part of your software you are selling, mm-hmm. software as a service you said before. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, are taking a modular approach. So so right now I mentioned shape. Yep. We also just recently had a, a, a contract which we turned into a product, or turning into a product uh, which can predict the color of a molecule. So okay. if we're making um, a screen or a, an OLED, so an organic mm-hmm. light emitting diode, this is very important to know the color. Or if you're making a laser, for example, you have a molecule, you need to know. Is it purple? Is it green? Is it red? So we can make that prediction for you just from the chemical structure to the color RGB space. So it's these kinds of automation features that we're Mm -hmm. launching bit by bit for targeted applications to targeted sectors of the chemical industry uh, to get them interested and to get them engaged with our SaaS. That is pretty cool. And how do you actually like the place we are now recording here at the Innovation Center? Well, you know, it's like a lot of uh, modern places. It's designed to confuse. But I think <laughs> <laughs> if you look, look or pan around and look at it, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? But that actually creates a kind of off balance where you, where you start to think of things in a different way. Okay. You don't know where you are, so you have to kind of re-examine your whole life. And then new things come out of that. I think that this is the point, and it works very well. My mom is an architect, so I've always, always been told that where you, where you are and the environment you, you're in shapes how you're thinking, and it's very much true for this, the Innovation Center. And it helps you to think differently. Yes, that is, that is definitely what the architect was thinking when he designed this building. Well, then I wish you good luck in the future, <laughs> and of course, many new and different thoughts here in the Innovation Center. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.